What's going on everybody? I'm here. And I'm Katie. And today for Thrifty Thursday, Katie, what are we making? We are making Zelda chests. Yep. Both of us are huge Legends of Zelda fans. I don't know if you could tell by the, you know. <laughs> the shield. And the sword. Yeah. Which I don't know. Can you see the sword? Yeah, you can see the sword. I guess. <laughs> <laughs> so, we're both doing two separate designs. I'm going for like one of the older blue chests. Where I'm going to put a Triforce design up here at the top. And... They'll each have a little surprise inside of them. I'm customizing my own. Yeah. Yeah, we're both going to be customizing them and designing them in special ways. We've got like a ton of different little, you know, plastic rhinestones here. Um, I guess that's what they're called. I've always called them that. I'm, I don't know. Yeah, they're rhinestones. Okay. Whatever. <laughs> I hope so. Um, we've got those to choose from, so design away, Katie. Um, I will. We got these kits from like Walmart for like... I think like five bucks a piece and the rhinestones were like another dollar a piece so it wasn't bad the kits come with paint already and, the blue foam. and what's that the blue foam sitting there the blue foam yeah put it under. oh yeah that's right so i mean these are not bad kits they come with little paint brushes did you already hit the hot glue gun <laughs> oh you hit your decoration yeah uh, we've got these little perler de decorations we've already done offset like <laughs> She did the red rupee with a little bit of shadow to it, and I did the Triforce, of course. Of course, of course. So things you'll need are a paintbrush, paint, the chest, the rhinestones, which I don't know, can you see? You probably, yeah. you probably can see that. A cup full of water, the hot glue gun, of course, which is behind Peter. Peter, you're coming over here so you don't get paint on you. Peter, what did you just... Oh, the worm. You don't, did it. Don't look at me. Don't don't you look at me, Peter. <laughs> so, anyway, Katie, are you ready to get started? Because I think he's going to get temperamental with me. Yes. All right, Peter, I'm putting you over here. So, first thing we'll need to do... Is start painting. Is start painting, yeah. Because I don't want to paint over my rhinestones. We'll do that first. Uh, I'm a little... Okay, no... This shouldn't be that hard to open. No. All right, so this paint is actually really good for, I think it's acrylic paint, just like Ooh. everything else. And they even give us our own little paint brushes to go with it. So. It's very goopy. I am not a good painter at all. So, first step we need to do is paint our paint, our paint brushes. Paint our chests. And Katie, you said you're going with a red color. Yeah, I'm going to go with a whole full red theme here. Yeah, and I'm probably going to accent mine with a little bit of silver over the uh, wood and over the little edges here to kind of give it that more Zelda-like chest color. So this should be a lot of fun, hopefully. I don't know how long the paint's supposed to take to dry. I don't think it's supposed to take long. As long as you don't do super thick coats. Yeah, and that's what I'm trying not to do. You know, I'm taking away a couple of C's here. That's really annoying. What? What I just said, or? No. <laughs> <laughs> no, I kept, um, my, sh my chest is uneven, so it's going. Oh, yours isn't? Well, yeah. sorry. No, it's all good. All right, so we got them painted. I went with a deep blue with supposed to be silver and gold trim. Of course, we don't paint the bottoms. <laughs> Went with a red and a gold trim, and then I put some designs on the top of hot glue that I will be painting gold later. Yeah, so I'm gonna take the hot glue now, and I'm gonna try to put my Triforce on top of it. Try is the key word, by force if necessary. Jeez, that's not very nice. Yeah, this hot glue gun's been mean to me for the past I'm trying not to put it on your hand. Because it seems to be we always end up burning ourselves somehow with hot glue. Yeah, I did off of camera and I'm glad it was off camera because yeah, I said some really the, bad words. You dropped a wordy dirt. <laughs> that's what that's what my one of my cousins used to say all the time. Oh, you said a wordy dirt. <laughs> be like, shut up. Really? I'm trying to look for gold rhinestones. 
I'm just sitting here trying not to. That hot glue cools quickly. Just trying to get the excess off of there so that it looks good. Are you looking for what one? Which ones? I want a gold one, but not. Like a gold rupee shaped one? That or this shape. But um, I don't think they have it. I think the golds were mostly in triangles and stars. Ooh, that was close. Almost burnt myself. Lame. Lump off. Why do I have this in my hand? I don't know. Are you planning on stabbing somebody this weekend? No, but it's in my hand. I don't know where it came from. <laughs> okay. You and that unfriendly ghost friend of yours. Yeah, I don't deal with Casper. You deal with his emo cousin. Yep. Jeff. Yep. My name's Jeff. That meme. <laughs> I have no idea where it comes from, but... 21 Jump Street. Oh, never watched it. It's really funny. Ah. Well, at least the first one is. I haven't seen the second one. I haven't seen either one, so... Are you talking about the original or the one with Jonah? I'm talking about the one with Jonah. Yeah, that one's pretty good. I haven't seen the original. What was the original? I think it had Johnny Depp and somebody in it. Oh, yeah, it was like a TV show, wasn't it? I think so. I don't know. Oh wow, well, this just turned out terrible. I can't get it off. <laughs> there. Had to cut it, but... So hot glue and me just don't get along, as most of you know from previous episodes. Hot glue and you don't get along well either, do they? No. No, you still were able to like master it. You gotta grab it by the horns and show them who's boss. <laughs> Alright, this is just gonna have to be a very messed up looking Triforce because these gemstones just aren't working for me. I know, wrong game. That's the whole point though. That was the whole point of my joke. <laughs> Everybody's going to be like, you make fun of so many people with disabilities when you make that voice. No, I'm not making fun of anybody. I'm just being me. I can have problems. Alright, so. Anyway, there's my Triforce on there. As you can see, it looks messed up. I didn't realize that you played football, Aaron. What do you mean? You were quite on the defense there. Alright, Peter, I need you to step to the side here. Maybe he don't wanna. Stop it, Peter. Quit being... Okay, you can go hang out with Katie. How about that? Ow. Peter's got blue on him now. Yeah, he, he went all, like, post-punk modern. I you told know? you, since he was on my team, he was gonna come in here and, um... We were gonna come in here one day and he's gonna have dyed hair. Yeah. I called it. Yep, you called it. So anyway, our next step is to basically take some of this foam. Why is it stuck together? I don't know. Uh, you gotta pull it hard because the paint pretty much sealed in. Alright. <laughs> <sighs> oh, so Jesus. Yeah, you, yeah, there. It, it went all in. You got those scissors? Or like a pair of scissors that we can use? We have like a ton of scissors and now we have like no... Oh, there they are. Alright, so I've got to basically cut... My phone, and apparently I basically everything. So basically what I was thinking of was, yeah. I can't believe you've done this. <laughs> I must be, I must be spiritually that guy. <laughs> I can't believe you've done this. <laughs> I've been exposing Aaron to rare memes and rip <laughs> me, uh, not rare memes, uh, rare vines and uh, R.I.P. Vine compilations lately. Yeah. They've and been great. Literally, we've I've laughed probably the hardest that the... Ah! <laughs> the, uh, the, like, song. The original song is just as quirky Weird. as the meme itself. 
one day my my life goal is to become a meme. I think we're already there. To be used as a popular meme so I can make money. All right, so what we did was we basically <laughs> took the foam, and that's what I've been trying to say, and every time I try to say it, Katie's like, I've exposed Aaron to. <laughs> so taking the foam and kind of putting it in there to give it a, that, you know, magical chest look. You can't have your jewels or whatever you're going to have in your chest to be sitting on wood. That's not how it works. Well, some people have their jewels sitting on wood. <laughs> I didn't take it the way you meant that. Uh, they want our family friendly rating for the week. I didn't say anything. I just had to bring up jewels and wood. Alright, so next I'm gonna take one of my little dowels that I've cut in here. Cutting it out of glue. Alright, so what you wanna do next, and this is the dangerous part for me here. This is very dangerous. Dangerous? Yeah, as Griffin would say, this is very dangerous. Right. So I'm gonna take some hot glue and just kind of cushion that around there. Cushion. You know cushion for pushing. Kid Friendly just went out the window for us this week, by the yes. way. So. Well, we don't have a kid show anymore with uh, OTB, you know, because nobody watches that, so I'm being salty. You might as well be a saltine cracker. Oh, uh, I didn't let that... This isn't going to work the way I wanted it to, of course. Stop. <laughs> Magic. There, that'll work. So now let's see if that closes, and of course it doesn't. Tilt it back a little bit. That's what I did. I tilted it a little. I have to tilt it even more back. All right, Katie. Let's see how these turned out now that we let the glue dry. So. <laughs> Katie always does better. Yeah, I found oh, out. That yeah, yours has that jiggle factor. Mine's actually kind of glued in place. Like, <laughs> but I, I really think this turned out a lot better than what I thought it was going to do. I mean, yeah, there are some things I'm a little kind of like upset about with it, but you know, whatever. It's art. It works. Um, this wasn't a hard project to do, and the paint really dries super quick on wood compared to like plastics and clay that we've worked with before. But Again, you can design these things however you want to. Again, I put I actually fixed my Triforce there. For my design, I did a little gem on top with a hot glue finish with design yeah. stuff. Yeah. And again, all of this all together probably cost us because we've had the perler beads around, you know, though you you can get you can use anything really to put in there. I mean, you can even use these little gemstones that are all covered in hot glue. I hate hot glue. Um, you can use those to fill it up and make a, you know, rupee chest or, you know, a gem chest because, you know, some legends, I think they always all always used rupees. Yeah. Um, you can decorate this a little bit more on the inside if you wanted to. Write in some nice little quotes here like, you know, will you be my princess? <laughs> I mean, I've seen that. I found I found the idea actually on like Pinterest and other places, you know, so you can find different designs and all that. Uh, but this was fun. So Katie, I know you said this was fun. So yeah. Anyway, thanks for watching. Make sure you like, comment, subscribe. Follow us on Facebook, Twitter, and Instagram. Leave a comment below. Let us know what you thought of our Legends of Zelda chests or what you'd like to see us do next. Also, hit that bell icon because you know that keeps you up to date with what we're doing. Like, we'll pop up on your phone with a little image of our thumbnail. 
YouTube's become pretty cool on Google phones or Android phones. But anyway, thanks for watching and we'll see, see you in the next video. video. So, did you like today's video? If so, click right here around Peter to subscribe. If you want to see our last episode, click here. Yeah. If you want to see something else, you can always click on me. Oh, that tickles. Stop. St stop. Seriously, just, just stop. Stop it.